I like to use um, is common sense, really. I think it's a good guy, get bad guy thing. Some people use the checkbook. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do adding and subtracting of integers. Well, we're going to come up with a rule based upon good guys and bad guys. So anytime the number is positive, we're going to say that that's how many good guys there are. And anytime the number is negative, that's how many bad guys. So we're going to be using positive good guys, negative bad guys. And think about these groups going to battle. So if I'm looking at this first number in this first problem, that's 5 plus a negative 1, there are five good guys. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 good guys. How many bad guys are there? Well, there is one bad guy. So we know we're going to put a 1 there, and that's how many bad guys. If you look at this, then you cross out the good and bad guys, how many are left? If you look, you count the dots, there's one, two, three, four, and those are the four good guys. So the answer to this will be a four. So, um, and it's going to be a positive because that's all good. If you look at the next example, I t start by taking the negative six. And if I look at that, I recognize that there are six bad guys. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six bad guys. As I continue looking at this, I notice that I'm adding to it two more, and that's two more bad guys. So that means there's two more bad guys. So if I were to total the bad guys, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bad guys. So that's why I would put eight and a negative on it. So that's how I would get my negative eight. The next one, if I look at it, I start by saying how many bad guys I have because it's a negative eight. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I count how many good guys I have, and that is going to be three of them. What happens is, is that the good guys and bad guys battle, and we have some remaining. How many do we have remaining? We have one, two, three, four, five, and there are five bad guys. Uh, we're going to continue with these examples because I think it's starting to make some sense and then we're going to talk about some rules that we could be using. If I look at this next one, I have six good guys because it's a positive. So I would write good and I would write one, two, three, four, five, six good guys. What happens here is we see the subtraction, so we think we're subtracting, but really take away was something we actually learned in elementary school. So I want you to think in a little bit of a higher level here, thinking that this is um, a negative 1, because if I look at this negative, it belongs to the 1, that tells me that I have one bad guy. What happens is the good guy and bad guy cancel, so if I look at this, I end up having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 good guys. And that makes sense if it goes back to what you learned about takeaway when you were in elementary school. If you had 6 minus 1 or 6 take away 1, that's going to give you 5. So recognize that the sign in front of the number tells you whether it's positive or negative. All right, doing the same thing with the next one. I have a negative 2 and a negative 1 that I'm adding or subtracting. So I have bad is where I'm starting. There are two bad guys. And then I look at the next one, don't I have one more bad guy? This is going to give me a total of one, two, three bad guys. So again, if you're thinking about this, I have two bad guys, I have another bad guy that gives me three bad guys. This next one is where it gets tricky for folks. When you have a negative, negative side by side like that, it actually changes the problem to be a negative seven, the negative, negative, it almost looks like a plus sign when I circle it like that, doesn't it? So this is a negative 7 plus 2. So when you have a negative, negative side by side, that changes it to a plus. Once you know that, you have bad guys first, and there are seven of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you have good guys, and there are two, and that is why I put them. So I have a negative 7 and a positive 2. The negatives and positive cancel, leaving you with five bad guys. So your answer is a negative five. Okay. Last but not least is six plus two. And this one makes sense. It's a positive six and a positive two. So I have all good guys. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then I have two more and they're all good so that gives me a total of eight which actually if you go back to the year elementary school days those make sense in fact these are the two that you go back to elementary school and that's where your um, integer rules came into play um, but you didn't know that that's what was happening so let's talk about some rules and then we'll call it, we'll go ahead and call it quits when the signs are opposite so would you agree in this first example we had opposite signs in the third example we had opposite signs in the fourth example we had opposite signs one was positive one was negative in the the, the example down here we also had opposite signs when you have opposite signs, you are going to subtract the digits. And then to figure out what sign stays on the, uh, on the number, you are going to keep sign of number farthest or furthest, whichever way you want to say it, from zero. And a lot of folks in high school heard it as number um, the bigger number so in our case seven is bigger that's why it was a negative in our case up here six was bigger that's why it's positive in our case for the next one up um, eight was bigger that's why it was a negative in our case up in the first example five was bigger that's why it was a positive so when the signs are opposite that means that you're going to um, subtract the digits and keep the sign. When the signs are the same, which is our example, uh, our second example, they were same. And in our fourth, wait, second, third, fourth, fifth example, they were the same. And in our last example, they were the same. So when the signs are the same, that is when we are going to add the numbers and keep the sign. So same, add digits and keep sign. And until you understand and you feel comfortable with that, please go ahead and continue using the manipulative idea to help you figure out whether you're adding or subtracting.